Hey guys, what's happening? So, I have an issue with this truck. Uh, it seemed to have extremely long heat up times, and I'm suspecting it's a bad um, thermostat. So, I bought an air one. Amazon, that's the part number. I'll put the part number down below. But, yeah, I mean, this thing takes. I'm on the freeway, and it takes like 15, 20 minutes for it to heat up. So, um, all my other cars, even like my Bronco here, all my other cars, they, they heat up super fast. You know, I just go down the street and they're heated up 190 degrees. So, I mean, yeah, this is a big diesel engine with a huge radiator. So, I didn't really know, but I do actually have a gauge. I have a uh, Bully Dog GT gauge. I can see the exact temperature. Yeah, it takes a long time to heat up. So, I suspect I might have a stuck open thermostat, but even if it's not, I mean, this, this truck has 200,000 miles on it. So, um, and that's the original thermostat. So, I mean, the thing was only 22 bucks. So, but yeah, the main issue I even started looking into this is because my truck wouldn't pass smog. Well, it did, I haven't smog tested yet, but I have a P1000 code that won't clear. So I can't take it to the smog place. So um, that was actually one of the suggestions in the uh, Ford IDS. I do actually have the Ford IDS. Um, and it said, you know, this thing could be not passing the, or couldn't, couldn't, might not be clearing the P1000 code if the uh, thermostat is stuck open. So, all right. Uh, drain the coolant real fast. Just enough to get down to the thermostat housing and then we'll uh, take it apart here. I got a five gallon bucket right here. I wanna capture this. Uh, this is ELC coolant by the way. Yeah, you don't need to completely drain out the coolant, just enough, uh, I think a five gallon should be enough, but just enough to get below the uh, thermostat housing water line. All right, so a couple of you gotta do. I'm gonna take off this, my uh, coolant filter hose here and the top radiator hose, and down there there's a couple 10 millimeter bolts. And that's actually the uh, thermostat housing right there. But I'm actually gonna use, it's gonna make it a lot easier with the, you need a 10 millimeter flex bit. I think it makes it easier in a magnet to pick up the bolts. Alright, so it's easier just to take this off in one piece, keep it on the hose. I went on to take the cap tube off. There it is. Should get that seal off, the old one. Yeah, I think this is the original one. So, yeah, because I've had this car for a long time. So, all right, so let's look inside. Replace this thing, put it back together. All right, so if you can see this, there's a little line. You can't hardly see it because it's pretty dirty, but that line is supposed to, to line up with that uh, this little key right here. And that way you can put it back in the right spot. I use a little paper and acetone to clean up the surface here. Alright, got the things lined up here with the notch. So I had to clean the pipe off and the clamp while I was at it. So I'm never down there. Alright, get it's back on there. Pretty basic. Alright, so I'm going to reuse that coolant. So typically what I do is like I just pour it back into these uh, coolant containers. But I usually leave like an inch at the bottom, so if there's any sediment, I don't get the sediment. Alright, so now i got to run this thing and get the air bubbles out. But, uh, yeah, you know because I've taken out more than i put back in, so I know there's definitely some air trapped in there. So I'm going to let it run and hopefully uh, wait till the uh, thermostat opens up and get the uh, air bubbles out. Alright, so it definitely seems like it's heating up faster than it did before. So. I'm just going to let it idle up to about 190, that way I know the uh, thermostat opens up and then I might give it some gas here and there, get the pump to move, you know, maybe cavitate a little bit and uh, come back and let it cool off and then check the level again. That's it, yeah, pretty cool, pretty easy, you know, like I said, it's, they kind of made it easy on this car, you know, with the, even with the, with the, with the rubber gasket, the housing, so, yeah, no, no uh, silicone sealant, no gasket to mess with, so, well, paper gasket, but. All right, cool. Pretty, pretty simple. Pretty basic. Awesome.